Ladies and gentlemen, well, first of all, Mr. Mayor, I'm sorry to say <laughs> Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, uh, members of the Midway Queen Preservation Society, a very warm, uh, on this chilly day, but nevertheless a warm welcome to the historic dockyard. I know many of you know this place, you've been here um, far more frequently than I have, but it's very good to see you all. I'm going to say very little because this isn't my show, this is a demonstration of what individual and group effort has been able to achieve. This fantastic ship, which um, you see there in model form, which has had, over the time it's been around in various bits and pieces, um, a distinguished and a checkered career, as you know very well. It's been above the water, it's been below the water, uh, it's done all sorts of fantastic things. It brought back, I think, the largest number of, of the British Expeditionary Force from uh, the beach of Dunkirk, 7,000 people uh, that any civilian ship uh, uh, brought back. Um, actually, of course, she was probably in service then. Um, she was HMS Bedwick, wasn't she? So, a great achievement in wartime. It gave enormous pleasure to many people in peacetime. And we hope, as a result of what is about to happen, that she will be brought back to life in the next few years and give a great deal of pleasure to many other people. But I would just like to conclude by congratulating all those hundreds of people who've been involved in this great project, who've worked so hard to raise so much money, and we will watch with great interest uh, the reconstruction of this fantastic ship, and we look forward to eventual success. Right. Okay. Before we sign the contract, we've got a few guest speakers who have helped us along the way to achieve the day. But the true VIPs here today are all of you out there that have worked over the years. The first speaker I'm going to ask to speak is Ted, one of my colleagues from the GMB. You can say a few words, Ted. Certainly, Brian, yeah. Um, Mr. Mayor, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, um, the GMB have been involved in I think Brian had been out uh, from the early 2000s, part of it, with a branch. First of all, whilst Brian to get involved, and along, the, along that time, we were being here a couple of years ago in front of the funnel, um, when our General Secretary and our President of the Union was down, and uh, they also sent their regards over and congratulations to what's been achieved over that time. Um, and I'm not going to steal anybody's thunder either, because I think uh, you're absolutely right that it isn't about anybody else, only the, you know, the people that supported this campaign. Um, I, I noted when I looked up that it's... Uh, was it to 1924 that, uh, that this vessel was, was set sail, and, uh, and, and you know we're near to 100 years, uh, and, and here we are hoping that we will eventually get it set sail, and the GMB will make sure that we continue to campaign, so I know and understand that that's not the end of the fundraising, and that's very important as well, because once that hull is built, there's more to be done on the ship, and, uh, and let's hope that uh, we're all together and make sure that we do see it sail and, uh, and celebrate its 100th anniversary. So, uh, congratulations from the GMB Union anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Our next speaker today is Jonathan Shaw, MP. Uh, Jonathan uh, has done, been marvellous helping us, and we say a lot of thanks to you, Jonathan. Well, thank you, Brian. Um, Mr. Mayor, Sir Ian, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm thrilled to bits. Thrilled to bits because I know all the heartache and energy an effort that everyone has put in uh, to see at this day uh, come possible. Um, people often stop me and say, what's happening with, with, with the Medway Queen? And the reason why they do that is I think that the Medway Queen has a very special place in the hearts of, of Medway people. Uh, because this is and has been a, you know, a naval port and people are proud of our history and the contribution that this vessel made uh, to our nation in its time of need is, you know, incredible. And I think it's knowing that that has driven uh, people on. And I think that, you know, over the years, uh, many people have been involved in organisations, but there's been a core number of people who have kept uh, this project alive and possible. And I've been delighted to, to play my small part in, in helping that. So the money from the National uh, Heritage Lottery, you know, what better way of spending uh, the nation's money because this ship uh, helps save our nation. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
<laughs> the mayor. Uh, the mayor of Washington, looks like the U.S. Oh, well, thank you. Well, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the joys of speaking last is there's nothing left to say. <laughs> <laughs> the Admiral puts it very eloquently, and these other gentlemen, too, have said practically anything. I looked on the website today, one of hundreds of websites that have got the Medway Queen mentioned in it. It's just incredible the amount of information there is for you to read. I learned you have over a thousand people in your society, for instance. I find that staggering. I discovered that up until the website's uh, completion date, you had 250,000 pounds just from people digging in their pockets and pulling out a few quid here and there. I read that you've had donations as much as 10,000 people from individuals. Somebody said to me earlier today that a whole house has been donated to, you, which has got to be worth some money, even in today's form of <laughs> So perhaps we shouldn't be too distressed. And this recent £1.86 million pound from the lottery is just absolutely staggering. It is truly amazing, isn't it? And to see that you've already let this contract, or are in the process of doing so, just, just behind me here, otherwise known as the saviour by some people. Um, you're actually going to rivet this ship together, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Well, you'd think in a place like Chatham we'd have enough people to do it here, wouldn't you? <laughs> Old shipwrights who I can remember throwing rivets around from dockside several levels up to someone who would catch it in a gloved hand, stuff it in the hole, and be another man banging it in from the other side with a riveting gun. Just amazing stuff to see, but of course it's a dyed art. These days you've got metal cutters, grinders, and welders of all types now putting our boats together. You get these horrible shapes, you've got puckled holes all over the place where the welding distorts the plating. You're not going to do that either, Mr. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I did, there would be muttering from the people in oh. this room. <laughs> 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 it's all a sculpture that is out a of this ship. Thing of beauty and joy forever. But uh, just to echo my good friends here, it is you people, the society and the volunteers who put the effort in who have made such a thing possible. There are many, many other examples in this dockyard where volunteers have done just that and succeeded <coughs> where bureaucracy has failed miserably because of money, normally. And nothing can supplant the energy and enthusiasm that you people put in. It's the passion that drives you, the passion, <coughs> the passion to make it work where others just let it slide by. And for that, we are all eternally grateful to you for having achieved this passion. This boat, by, nine, by 2012, by 2012, is that the by 2012, Well, 2012, we'll be taking trips on them. By 2012, <coughs> we'll be taking trips on them. This boat is truly coming oh, back. Oh, look at that. This boat is truly <laughs> coming back. It's on the Thames, I'm saying. Is that might be sticking on the Thames, please? <laughs> 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 should go on the Thames for the opening of the Olympics. That's what it's she'll do. Medium, That's what <laughs> she'll do. <laughs> <First class. laughs> yes. Well, what can I say? Thank you. My congratulations to you all for getting this far. A truly magnificent journey, which we're in the middle of. And let's hope it gets even better. Thank you very much. Okay.